Welcome back to I Can Science That. Let's do another thought experiment today. Before we get into it, a word on these thought experiments. Last time there were comments that drawing cartoons or just sitting around thinking about things doesn't tell us about reality. Reality is different from our cartoons. Of course, that's true. What we're doing with these thought experiments isn't learning about the real world. We're learning about how we think. We're exploring what our own ideas about the world are. Because sometimes there are things you haven't really stopped to think about before. And when you do, you realize, oh, yeah, of course it works that way. I know it works that way. I just never stop to think about it. So with that in mind, let's do another one of these exercises. Today, we're going to explore sunrise, sunset, how we think that works, and how it all fits together. Okay, so do this with me right now. I would like you to simply point to where the sun is going to rise tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, we expect the sun to rise in the east. For me, east is that way. How about sunset? Where is the sun gonna set? For me, west is that way. So there's the, the sunset. The sun's gonna rise over there. The sun's gonna set over there. Everybody do that with me. Just point to the sunrise, point to the sunset. Okay, how about in the middle of the day? Noon, where is the sun gonna be at noon? Now, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere like I am, it'll be somewhere south of straight overhead. Like being straight overhead, but probably not right overhead, right? And if you don't know exactly where, that's okay. Let's just sort of eyeball it, remember? We're thinking about it. This isn't what reality dictates that the sun is gonna do. This is what do you think the sun is gonna do? We're exploring what's going on in your own head, right? So if you're watching this video right now, it's early June and the June solstice is coming up. So for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, that's summer when the sun is the highest it'll ever be. So in June, the noon sun is very close to overhead, a little bit south. And which way is south? South is that way behind me. So uh, I'm expecting the noon sun to be almost straight overhead, just a little bit to the south of straight overhead. Where is the noon sun going to be for you? So to recap, we've got sunrises over there, sunsets over there, and in the middle, the sun's gonna be up high like so. So what I want you to do next is just point to that sunrise and then trace the path that you think the sun is supposed to follow as it rises from the, from the sunrise up through the noon down again into the sunset. So we're gonna start over here at sunrise. Sun goes up. The sun is you know, south of straight overhead now. The sun is at noon. Sun goes back to the west. So the sun starts over there. Sunrise, it's going up. It goes to noon. At noon, it's there. And now it's gonna come and go to the sunset spot over there. So we just, we can do a trace like that. All right, so everybody do that with me. Let's do a trace just like that. All right, so if you've all done that with me now, let's complete the circuit. We know that the sun sets over there and the sun rises over there. So at nighttime, of course, the sun isn't really visible. We can't see it, but we know it has to get from there to there. So how about you trace out that path for me? And this time, let's complete it. Let's go all the way around. Let's say the sun's going to rise over there. It's going to go up through noon. It's going to come down over there. How does it get from there back to there. We know it's going to be there in the morning. We know it's there at night. How does it, how, how does it get over there? So trace for me what you think 
the sun does. Again, this isn't reality. This is, what do you think? What do you think the sun does when it rises over here, goes up here, comes down there, and then has to go back over there? Is this the motion that you made? Sun goes up, sun goes down, sun goes around, and now it's back over there. So what do you think? Is that what you did too? Record yourself in a video doing this motion, starting from sunrise, going through noon, coming down to sunset, and then complete the circuit with how you imagine the sun does that. If you've got a YouTube channel, Put it on YouTube and I'll promote it here. Or email the video to me at ICanScienceThat at gmail.com or find me on Discord and you can send it to me on there and we can compare and contrast all the little motions that we made and discuss what it means to us and why, why did we do that. As before, let's see you down in the comments with your thoughts about where, where the sun traces through the sky and maybe why you think it does that. I'll see you online.